Today, I'm going to be teaching you the holy grail to finding the perfect POI for any and all of your entries. In this video, I'm going to be getting straight to the point by drawing everything up conceptually rather than showing you hundreds of examples of them on the charts. So after this video, I highly recommend you go back on the charts and back test this for yourself. Let's get started by understanding that the market can come in three different phases. The first phase is going to be considered accumulation. The second phase will be distribution. And the third phase is the expansion. So once again, the market can only be in these three phases, nothing more or nothing less. If you want to know more in-depth details about these three phases, you can check out my free website at bukubucks.com. So for now, let's keep things simple and start off with accumulation. So accumulation is going to be the process in which banks use to fill their buy orders and move the market to the upside. So typically how this looks is price will move sideways. It'll create buy side liquidity from the highs on the upside and sell side liquidity from the lows to the downside. Now keep in mind, accumulation will not always look this perfect, but the idea and the concept is still there. Price will sweep sell side liquidity before moving on the upside. And as you can see, as price moves on to the upside, it also sweeps by side liquidity as well. So this right here is what accumulation will look like. I'm also going to mark up another form of accumulation that you may or may not have heard of. Accumulation can also be known as bullish structure. In bullish structure, price is making higher highs and higher lows, causing the market to give that upwards movement. Now, obviously, the market does not always move this picture perfect. Instead, typically, you get complex structure. And typically, how that looks is you'll get structure higher highs and higher lows, but you'll also get internal highs and internal lows before price moves on to the upside once again. So to give you a quick lesson on structure, price makes a structure low to a structure high. And this right here is the structures range. Everything in between is going to be internal structure. So all the lows you see here and all the highs you see here is nothing but internal structure. So once again, structure highs and lows are different than internal structure highs and lows. But back to structure, this is going to be an example of what most likely will realistically happen in the market. Price creates complex structure movement rather than a picture perfect form of structure. Now with the internal highs and lows, you can see the internal highs make buy side liquidity and the internal lows create sell side liquidity. Now, as you can see here, price sweeps sell side liquidity and then sweeps buy side liquidity as price goes on to make that new high. Now, if you look at these side by side, this is very similar to what I drew over here. It just comes in a slight different form. It may not look as picture perfect as this first image, but the idea of price sweeping out sell side liquidity before sweeping out buy side liquidity as price makes new highs is still there. So with that understanding, whether price is giving you more so of what is known as accumulation or bullish structure, they are both considered accumulation formations. Now with that understanding, let's use the same exact concept to flip it around for distribution. So distribution is going to be the process in which banks fill their sell orders to move price to the downside. Typically, this consists of price moving sideways just like this. In this case, it will create sell side liquidity with lows and buy side liquidity with the highs. Price then sweeps out buy side liquidity before sweeping out sell side liquidity as price moves on down. This right here is distribution, but it's also breakdown bearish structure. Bearish structure is when price creates lower highs and lower lows. Once again, price price typically is not this perfect, it will create internal structure highs and lows to make a complex form of structure. In this case, let's use structure low to high and let's create some internal formations. Price pulls back and then makes a new low. So in this case, once again, a quick lesson on structure. We have a structure low here and we have a structure high and then leads into a structure low. So at this point in time, our structures range is a structure high down to a structure low. Everything in between is going to be internal structure. So this low and this high is going to be a representation of internal structure. In this case, as price pulls back, Back, this right here is a form of buy side liquidity. Down here at this structure low is also a form of sell side liquidity. As price pulls back, price sweeps out buy side liquidity and then sweeps out sell side liquidity as it makes a new structure low. Now it's kind of hard to see here, but buy side liquidity was swept and then sell side liquidity was swept as it made new lows. This is very similar to distribution over here. Price sweeps out buy side liquidity and then sweeps out sell side liquidity as price makes new lows. So although they look slightly different, the idea and the concept is still there. Now we won't get into expansion just yet, but understand that the expansion phase is typically what we are trying to catch. Price is giving us accumulation or distribution, and we are trying to catch that last phase, which is the expansion. But let's take it back to accumulation once again. When price is in accumulation, price creates sideways movement, creates buy side liquidity, and then sell side liquidity, and then price sweeps sell side liquidity, and then goes on up. Now, the holy grail POI you are trying to find is going to be located at the extreme order block. And the reason why this is the holy grail POI is because this has the highest probability or the highest win rate and it also minimizes your stop loss or your risk and maximizes your potential profits. This is also a really good setup because this is the last area in which price may go before invalidating your bullish bias. And what I mean by this is if price is truly in accumulation, again, the banks are trying to buy and move the markets up higher, price should not break underneath this low. If it breaks this low, technically your analysis is wrong and you should no longer be bullish. And without getting too far into details and making this a long video, the banks truly bought here. So if the banks truly bought here, 
here, they should protect this low. They wouldn't want price to come down here and allow their position to be in drawdown. So once again, if the bias is truly bullish, price should not break this low. So with that being said, this will be the extreme order block. This will be the holy grail POI that you're looking for that is going to give you the highest probability setups with the lowest risk and the largest reward. So what you want to do is wait for price to come down into the POI, go ahead and take your buy position and put your stop loss somewhere underneath the low. And it should look something like this. Your stop loss is down here because you don't expect price to break the slow and you expect price to make new highs. So your take profit is going to be at the previous high. So you would expect price to do something like this. This will be the setup that you're looking for. Now let's bring up a bullish structure because that is also another form of accumulation. As price is making structure higher highs and higher lows, your extreme order block is going to come from the structure low. This is considered the extreme order block because if price breaks underneath this order block, this will invalidate your bullish bias. Because at this point, if price breaks this low, this would actually be considered a break of structure. And at this point, you would anticipate price to continue to give us bearish movement. So once again, in bullish structure, you want to buy at the extreme order block, which is going to be the order block represented at your structure low. You want to take a buy down here at this order block or POI, whatever you want to call it. Stop loss somewhere underneath the low. And the reason for it is because if the banks are truly buying down here, they wouldn't allow price to break underneath and allow these orders to be in drawdown. So therefore, your stop loss is underneath this low and you would shoot for new highs. So you would obviously wait for price to pull back and then take profit at the previous high somewhere right here. And hopefully this will play out and hit your take profit. As you can see from here, both of these stop losses are relatively small relative to the take profit. So this is why I say this is a really good setup because it does minimize your risk and maximize the potential profit that you're looking for. So now let's go back real quick to expansion. It's pretty simple. Once again, it is the phase in the market that you are trying to catch. And as you can see here, this big move to the upside will be the expansion phase. This move right here is also the expansion phase. So when price is in accumulation, you're waiting for price to pull back so you can catch the expansion phase. There's a lot more details that can go into this, but for now we can keep it very simple and it's simply the move you are trying to catch. The expansion move is when price takes off in the bullish direction in this case. Now let's take things back down to the distribution. So in distribution, price creates buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity. Price will sweep out the buy side liquidity first and then sweep out the sell side liquidity as price dumps off. The holy grail POI that you're looking for is going to be the extreme POI up here. This is also known in my eyes as the extreme order block. If price is truly bearish and trying to go lower, price should not break above this high. If price breaks above this high, this would invalidate our bearish bias and price will actually most likely be bullish. Because from a bank perspective, if the banks truly sold here, they wouldn't want to allow price to go above and allow these orders to be in drawdown. So therefore, the extreme POI is the furthest point in price price can go while still maintaining the bearish bias. So if price pulls back and comes into this POI, we would for sure be looking to take a sell from this position. And if price truly does drop from here, we should have our stop loss set somewhere above this high and have our take profit set at this previous low. And if it works out well, price should come on in and then hit our take profit somewhere down here. And the other example of distribution will be bearish structure. Price will be making lower highs and lower lows. Our extreme order block will come from the structure high that led into the structure low. This will be the holy grail POI that we are looking for. We will wait for price to pull on back, tap into our order block, and then look for another sell position like we did over here. Our stop loss should be above this high and we should have a take profit set somewhere by this low. The idea behind this is that this is the furthest point in price price can go while still maintaining our bearish bias. The reason for this is because if price breaks above, this actually will be a higher high, causing this to be a break of structure. If this is a break of structure, obviously our bias would no longer be bearish and we would be bullish. We would anticipate a structure higher low to come into play and then a higher high. So this is why the extreme order block is going to be our last point price can go while still maintaining our bearish bias. If this all works well, price should tap into the POI and then go ahead and make a new structure low as we were anticipating since price is in bearish structure. You can also see that our risk rewards are actually very good. The reason for this is because our stop losses are relatively small compared to our take profits. So taking an extreme order block is going to minimize our risk and maximize our potential profits. Once again, getting to the expansion phase, the expansion phase is the phase that we are trying to catch. So in these two examples, this move here and this move here is the expansion phase. There's more details to go into it, but for now, keeping it very simple, it is the phase that you are trying to catch that causes that big move into your direction. So with that being said, no matter if you are in accumulation or distribution, you always want to buy or sell from the extreme POIs or the extreme order blocks. This is what I consider to be the holy grail defining the perfect entries for all your trades. Now in the next video, I'll be teaching you when to take these setups and when not to, because as you back test, I'm sure you'll find that most of these setups do work, but there are times where it doesn't. One, this is because you will never be 100% accurate. Everybody loses. You will never win every single trade. The second thing is that there is a crucial component of liquidity that needs to take place. So in the next video, I'll be teaching you about liquidity and how to implement these into your POIs to make these POIs the best setups you can possibly take. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out my free Forex course at bukubucks.com. And you can find that 
Discord link down below in the description.